Okay, we're over here at Bay St. Louis with uh, Captain Sonny Schindler uh, of the Shore Thing Charters. And, and Sonny, there's a lot of folks come down here to the Mississippi Gulf Coast that don't know how to rig for speckled trout. Let's show them how to rig. Now, what have you got here? Very easy to do. Um, we're using, basically, this is a, a live bait rig for speckled trout. You want the 20-pound test. Uh, we like the braided line. Why do you like the braided line? It's a smaller diameter. You can cast it further. Uh, you can put more on your reel, and it's, it's just as strong as can be. Plus, you can feel every bite. What do we go to from the from the main line? Main line, you got a fisherman's knot to a barrel swivel, which normally comes on your popping cork. So this is what's called a thunder chicken popping cork because it has the half ounce uh, lead at the bottom. You can just get an insane amount of distance on these things. It gives you the the rattle, which is to mimic a feeding fish. From there, the barrel swivel is attached to the popping cork. Fisherman's knot to the barrel swivel. This one is, is a little bit long, but you can make, uh, this is a live bait rig with 20 pound test fluorocarbon. In the middle of it, I'm, I'm sorry, probably the, the last quarter of it, you have a quarter ounce split shot. So basically your rig will sit up in the water column. Your split shot will hold the bait just a little bit off the bottom because normally we're fishing in about three foot of water. And then a one aught one, one aught kale hook for the uh, live shrimp or live croaker. Why do you like the kale hook? The kale hook will hold the live bait perfectly in the middle of the shank, and then it allows you, that fish can grab it, grab the whole bait, and you got them. Uh, you get a lot of, lot of uh, bites off a rig like this. It's just very, very easy to throw. All you really gotta worry about is just checking your, your leader, the, the first four inches of it for any phrase. Uh, with live bait down here, you're gonna get a lot of strikes. So you, you wanna check it every every other fish. If it looks a little frayed, retie it. Fisherman's knot to the one aught kale. And uh, what kind of live bait are we using and why? This time uh, a year, the, the spring and summer, the shrimp are in really good. Uh, live croakers are in. Basically the shrimp, it, everything eats shrimp. We, we tell everybody that the shrimp even eats shrimp. Uh, it's, it's, it's plentiful, it's relatively inexpensive, and everything eats it from your speckled trout, redfish, flounder, triple tail, uh, mackerel, even the sharks will eat it. But the, the croakers right now, when the, when the big trout, the big female trout come in and spawn, they want those things off their spawning beds, and they just, they hate them. So if you can get a, a good mess of live croakers over the shell bottoms down this way, uh, look for some big trout. Ha have the net ready, as we say. All right, Sonny, if people want to get a hold of you and learn more about fishing here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast inshore, uh, how do they contact you and how do they get in touch with you? The easiest way is, is through the phone, 228-342-2295. Uh, and if you really want to see some information, fishing reports, pictures of the boats, maps, uh, the website is shorethingcharters.com. How you spelling shore? S-H-O-R-E. Okie doke.